Welcome to Slovakia Ring. We are going to introduce you the KTM Expo Battle. And if you don't know what it is, it's very simple. It's a racing battle on the track only for KTM brand. And by the way, KTM makes also cars, not only bikes. That is very interesting information for some of you. And if you don't know what car they make, they make an Expo. And if you don't know what Expo looks like, try to imagine the crossover between Jet Fighter and a go kart. I guess that's the right combination. When I told you at the beginning that the KTM Expo is a mix between a jet fighter and a go-kart, I wasn't too far from the truth. Just look at this car. Manfred Wolf is a person responsible for marketing at KTM and he will show us the difference between a road-going car and cars that are parked here in Parc Femme and also between cars that are in category GT4. Well, this is the elite category and basically the car looks like the road-going car but you can find the difference all around it. Uh, we start with a headrest which is a safety uh, device uh, in terms of side impact. Uh, we have not four-point harnesses like on the road going car but we have a six-point harness you got a fire extinguisher inside uh, you got a race logic device inside you got an emergency kill switch uh, so that's basically everything that is changed inside of the car for the driver on the outside you see uh, aerodynamic devices like the uh, flips and flaps that we have here uh, we have a longer front splitter yeah. that increases the downforce of the car uh, and at the rear end of the car you can obviously see a huge rear wing. I understood that you can buy also these parts for your road going expo. Partly. Partly. Not all of those parts are homologated for road use yeah. uh, but many of them are. For example also these uh, aerodynamic parts are road homologated so you can also put it on your road going crossbow. Yeah. For entry and starting the series it would be the best to start with the Rookies Challenge car yeah. which is uh, 280 horsepower, 270 horsepower. These have 360 yeah. so they are even faster uh, but it's an open category and everybody that has a license can race in it. Yeah. What license do you need? Uh, well, from next year on you need a, a C license, yeah. uh, at the moment uh, a daily license is enough, it's this enough. year. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's the weight of the car? Well, um, the crossbows is all about uh, weight to power ratio, so we have only 360 horsepower, but the car has only 830 kilograms. Beautiful. But the GT4 we will have a look at the moment, it's much more heavier because of the roll cage, not safety. much, not much heavier. It's around 200 kilograms. But on the GT4 car, it's closed, and you have a roll cage. Additionally, it has bigger wheels, bigger brake discs. But at the same time, it's homologated for international racing. The GT4 car has an ABS system, so uh, it's better on the brakes. When you, for example, go to Red Bull Ring, where you have three uh, 90 degree corners, where you have to brake from more than 200 kilometers to below 100, uh, the ABS system uh, is an advantage. Uh, this car is on a flowing circuit with flowing fast corners. Uh, for example, in Rijeka, this car is faster than the GT4 car. If I want to enter this series, I mean, uh, how much does it cost? We at KTM, uh, we look after the Cross Barukis Challenge, uh, which is the entry level series in there. Uh, uh, one racing weekend, so it's two races uh, per weekend. Uh, is around 5,000 euros and the whole season is around 35,000 including insurance yeah uh, with an excess of 5,000 euros when we talk about the elite cars of course the cars are faster they use more tires they're a little bit more expensive to maintain uh, and we don't rent out the cars but there are a lot of teams where you can do so uh, so if you go to a private team and rent a car 
I think it's for the whole season between 70 and 80,000 euros. Tell us now, please, the difference between GT4, which is the strongest and the best you have, yep. and the rest. And the rest. Well, as you can see, it's optically already very d different. Uh, it's kind of, yeah, a little bit like a spaceship, a little bit like a plane with this canopy that opens up uh, as, a, as a whole thing. So you got no doors, you got only this, uh, this canopy. Yeah. And it's uh, also aerodynamically uh, completely different as uh, the, the body panels are uh, much more massive as on all other cars. On the other cars, you can see the technology and uh, the the, the stuff uh, underneath and here everything is covered, everything is closed and uh, yeah, what's uh, also a big difference is the car is 17 centimeters longer than the other cars uh, and it has a racing ABS system. So it was important for us as we, the car for international motorsport where we compete against Aston Martin, Porsche, Mercedes, Audi, again all premium manufacturers uh, and they have longer cars and to be stable especially in fast corners it's good to have a longer wheelbase so this car is 17 centimeters longer wheelbase than the standard car and um, what's the same like on the cars that we saw before is the carbon fiber monocoque the safety cell and the engine all other things on this car are different more wheelbase different suspensions another cooling system this one is a uh, an air-cooled intercooler on the standard cars, we have a water-cooled one. Um, as I mentioned already, racing ABS, we have more weight, uh, but at the same time we have also more safety. It's got a roll cage and many other different things to the standard KTM. Crossbar. Okay, so and the power output is? The power output is the same as on the standard car, it's also 360 horsepower, but as the aerodynamics and the braking ability is much better than on the other car, it's nearly the same uh, on lap times, depending on which track you are going. But the same applies here, like with the other cars, if you have enough money and the possibilities and the license, you can rent or buy even this one. Exactly, you can, this car is, I mean, for a GT4 race-ready car, yeah. as you know, the KTM is always ready to race, so of course our cars are race ready. Uh, this is 139,500 euros without taxes, which is uh, quite a very good offer in the GT4 racing world. Um, and you can also rent the car on various teams. And for here, next year in this uh, KTM crossbow battle in the uh, GT4 class, you also would need an international C license. But that's quite easy to, to do. You have to do one course and then you can uh, have a C license. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. See you next time then. Fun watching the races. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.